Hi everyone, I'm Dee, I am part of the new black and today I'm going to be bringing you a list of university essentials. Just a bit of a background about me as a person, um, I went to Nottingham Trent University four years ago now, uh, I'm currently studying the BPTC at the University of Law, um, so I'm, I'm living at home currently but when I did undergrad I did move out to Nottingham so I'm going to be bringing you a university essentials list um, whilst trying to remember everything that I took with me. Um, I have written a list so I'm just going to be cross referring to that so without further ado let's get started. So first on the list is important documents so you want to be bringing your provisional ID with you instead of a passport because you'll need that for when you go on nights out um, you might need it to register into your halls or accommodation so that's definitely a necessity and then also you're going to need your bank cards obviously to be able to pay for things like food shopping and um, now you've moved out you're going to be responsible for buying all your food yourself so you're going to need a bank card um, so that's the list of important documents, um, obviously provisional or driving licence, depending on whether you've passed your tests or not. <laughs> um, second on the list is electricals, so I've got things like laptops, phones, phone chargers, laptop chargers, um, also headphones are really important, um, they're great for when you just want to go into your room and just block out the noise. Whether you want to study with them, or you just want to listen to music, um, you don't really want to forget headphones. Um, as well as that, I've just got things like um, a disposable camera. So obviously uni is an incredible time in your life and you want to be able to take photos you can remember. So whether that's a disposable camera or a professional camera, depending on what you want um, so yeah definitely a camera also just things for the girls or for boys with really long hair uh, blow dryers and straighteners as well oh, super important so i've also got things that you're going to need kitchen wise so for your kitchen you're going to want cutlery one thing i would say is don't go overboard with the cutlery same goes for plates bowls things like that, um, cooking equipment, because you are only really going to be cooking for yourself or maybe another guest or a few friends. So you don't really want to bring more than a couple of plates, a couple of knives and forks, um, because if, I mean, there's no point. I mean, you can do, you can bring more if you want, just, but I would say don't go overboard with the cutlery. Also, you're going to need cups, obviously, glasses, mugs if you like a cup of tea a cup of coffee um frying pan washing up sponge um washing up liquid as well is good uh, my flat we all took it in turns to buy things like washing up liquids washing up sponges so if you can just bring a few with you to save you having to worry about getting those throughout the year on my list i also have medication so obviously depending on what's personal to you bring your own medication but there's the general things like ibuprofen, paracetamol, Imodium, cold and flu they'll all come in really handy for when you're maybe not feeling your best and you don't want to have to go to Tesco and spend a fortune on medication so definitely bring those along with you. I have bedding as well so the university obviously provide a bed for you We'd, you'd hope you'd hope they do um, beds and possibly pillows um, but I would definitely say bring your own pillows bed sheets a duvet um, a mattress protector as well also pillowcases I don't know if I said that cushions because they're just really comfy and decorate your room a little bit and that leads me on to my next point of decorations so there's a few people at uni I won't name any names that literally just had four white walls in their room and that was it you've got to think that this is the room you're going to be going back to when you've had a long day at uni and you just want somewhere nice to go back to so definitely I would advise you to bring decorations it doesn't have to be anything over the top um, if you don't want it to be. It can just be things like photographs to remind you of home, friends, family, fairy lights, 
Uh, I would say candles, but most universities don't allow you to have candles. Uh, but just any anything that you like, maybe flowers, um, anything, just something to decorate your room a little bit, so it's not just four plain white walls. <laughs> um, and then, as well as that, I have toiletries. So your, I mean, depending on whether you have a ensuite or you're sharing your bathroom with your flatmates, you probably will want to bring a toiletry bag. This will just make it easier for you to pack all of your toiletries in so when you're going to and from your bathroom you don't have to carry everything um, and end up dropping everything everywhere. So within that toiletry bag I'd say to bring things like deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, perfume, aftershave, body wash and obviously personal toiletries, face wash, face cream, probably missed something really important but also um, as well as that toilet roll just bring as much as you can because toilet rolls really really expensive and I think that's something you don't realise until you move out um, and go to uni toilet roll is ridiculously expensive and it's also really awkward to carry so bring just bring as much with you as you can to save yourself the hassle I also have on my list clothing, so depending on what sort of course you are studying, you will, I mean I studied law so we had a few assessments where we had to dress formally so that might be something for you to bring, a formal outfit that you can wear for assessments, also you'll want to bring your casual clothes so just things that you wear um, on a day to day basis also clothes that you can bring if you're interested in joining a sports club trainers um, leggings t-shirts things like that hoodies you will also obviously need um, clothes for depending on the season so obviously the first term of uni it starts to get quite cold so you'll want to bring a warm coat scarves gloves boots things like that don't think I've missed it. Oh, underwear, socks, socks to keep you warm at night in case your accommodations are really cold. <laughs> um, and then also, finally, oh no, actually, that's everything. So that is everything on my list. Um, I probably have missed something off, but if you do forget something, um, it's not the end of the world. You can always just go to the shop and just buy it. Um, don't be worried about anything, university experience is a really amazing one, um, it will help you in so many different ways so I really hope you enjoy it and I'm wishing you the best and good luck with it all, bye!